Good morning, Wednesday morning update. Uh, nobody has tweeted or texted or sent out a Facebook post saying that we're closed, so I have to assume that we're open. So I'm about to leave for work. It uh, It's snowing, but it's only snowing a little bit. I'm not too concerned about it, and quite honestly, I kind of need the money, so it would be good if work would be open today. Yesterday was great, don't get me wrong, but I kind of need the money. I stayed up reading you last night and I got about 70 or 80 pages in. It's super dark, it's super creepy, that's exactly what I signed up for for this book, so I'm interested to see how it continues. Also the second person narration I'm very interested in, especially because it doesn't seem forced, which is very nice. Ooh, clear sidewalks, this is a treat. I was out of the house for approximately 13 seconds before a driver decided to almost hit me while turning without using their turn signal. Good job, drivers! Hi, just on my way home from work, have no idea if you can see me right now. I uh, just had to stop and buy some wine because I drink in my bathtub on Wednesdays and read a book. And I got ID'd, which is always delightful when you're in your 30s. Uh, so yeah, I will update you a little bit more when I get in my house. Hello, I made it home. So I uh, am going to have some toast because I'm a responsible adult who clearly makes all the best dietary decisions. Uh, I'm mostly having toast so that I can drink that bottle of wine in my bathtub without, you know, bad things happening. I read some more of you while I was at my lunch break. I didn't take any footage because it's a very loud public area with annoying people around me, so I just didn't do that thing. Um, really enjoying it. It's so weird because I obviously read a lot of fiction where you're used to like liking the main character so every once in a while I forget that he's terrible. It's kind of like when you watch Dexter and you want Dexter to succeed even though he is a serial killer. Kind of the same thing is going on so I'm looking forward to reading more of it in my tub. Something else I wanted to update you about while my bathtub is filling up with water is that while I was at work today I was kind of thinking about whether or not I should pick up some more books just because I am working on the six out of my seven book TBR and I grabbed a couple of books while I was just kind of tidying up the teen section that look like they'll fit in with challenges as though I haven't already completed the challenges. So the first one that caught my eye and I've never seen these books before I just kind of picked them at random because they fit these challenges is In the Sight of Stars. This one I picked up because it looks pretty blurple. I don't know if it's going to show in this really bad lighting, but it looks pretty blurple. I kind of basically just read the synopsis enough to find out whether or not it was contemporary. This is about a boy who lives in New York City with his dad, and then his dad dies, so he has to go live in the suburbs with his mom, and then things go down from there. And then the other book I picked up has a picture on the spine, and this one is called See Jane Run, and uh, I'm just going to read you the back because that's all I read. When Riley finds a postcard tucked in her bag, she thinks it's a joke. Then she finds a birth certificate for a girl named Jane Elizabeth O'Leary hidden inside her baby book. And from there we gotta find out what's up with that. So also, could sound interesting. Might get to those before the end of the week. Don't know. Does anyone else play the fun game of trying to not burn themselves while they light all three wicks in these massive candles? Because it is such a fun game, especially when the wicks kind of explode. And you're like, but why are you doing that? Why, yes, I am super fancy and get the screw top bottles and also I'm gonna drink my wine out of this mason jar. Because let's be real, if I try to drink it out of a regular wine glass, I am going to knock it over. So the thing about this book is it's ridiculously sexy because the protagonist is very obsessed with having sex with you, uh, the person he's thinking about because second person. And the problem with that is that, like, you can forget that he's terrible in stalking her. So, like, it's ridiculously sexy, but at the same time, like, the grossest thing. And it's such an interesting combination that it's so fucking interesting. I don't understand why it's so interesting. I think this is about the time to end the vlog. I'm gonna end it here, edit it, upload it. This is later than the last couple of days, but that's because I don't have to wake up early tomorrow morning, so I can do what I want. If you have read you, which is such a weird sentence to say, let's not lie, can you tell me what your thoughts have been about it? Because this this book is kind of messing me up. Also, I washed my hair this morning, so I don't really want to do it again, but also, like, do I need a new haircut? I kind of feel like I do. I definitely want to recolor it because there's, like, two inches of regrowth. But yeah, all of your opinions on my hairstyle down in the comments below. 
I will see you tomorrow.